Hi guys, this is Faye from Face World Media. I'm gonna show you how to use Get Munch, or really it's Munch AI that it helps you dissect and break down long form content into these bite-sized content, which we namely called clips and also micro content. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have previously processed some of the content, but instead I'm gonna show you from scratch. First of all, this is a very straightforward user interface. And for you to get started, you can just click on this big plus button or upper right hand corner. You can click on create new. When you first sign up, you do have a free trial and you're able to upload one video. So once you do that, the process for us, you know, it's not instantaneous. So uh, depending on the length of your video, it may take a few minutes, sometimes longer. And when you're done, you can come back and take a look at the videos you have tested out. So here I have a few examples to kind of show you. One is one of my shorter uh, YouTube videos called Nine Zoom Webinar Tips and Tricks. And I've also processed a one hour long live stream with David G, which is right here. Last but not least, my full interview with Seth Godin, which was around 30 minutes. So that is the latest. So let's go ahead and show you uh, what the output looks like. So on the left hand side, you have basically the original source. You can actually directly upload a YouTube video, which is quite convenient. And you can also here filter based on the duration. Uh, given most of the clips are under one minute, and especially for social media, the optimal, it seems like it's, you know, anywhere between uh, 17 and then 43 seconds. Here, you can also click on a uh, suitable platforms um, for this one, you know, YouTube Shorts, 30. That's a little weird, I gotta say, because clearly this can also work for other platforms like Instagram and whatnot. So brands, these are the brands mentioned from within these clips and the people. So me, Seth, <laughs> you, yeah. All right, so there are others that you can show as you can see here based on the relevance. And next category is keyword. So you can see all the keywords. So roughly, I'm not gonna count all of them. I think I'm looking at, wow, I was, I was thinking 30, but I'm probably looking at possibly 50 to 60 different keywords here. And what you can do is you can actually filter based on the keywords you wanna focus on. Um, but for now, you know, this is only 30 minutes. So lastly is topic. So let's see all the topics. These are all AI generated. So you have content production, social networking. I would say based on these topics are pretty cool hobbies and interest. So let's actually pick something. What about remote working celebrity style? Honestly, I don't even remember like talking about these things, the social networking, content production. So let's select five of them. And then once you're done, by the way, you can go back. And what happened is it's already pre-filtered. There's no confirm that needs to happen. And immediately, uh, you know, right here, you have overall clips of 27. I would say the user interface, one of the things that I don't love is just once you expand and collapse, you really, there's so much to choose from. You have to scroll quite a bit, I would say. And here on the right hand side, you will see that there are scoring systems. So instead of you having to guess what are the good clips, you know, will it rank, um, things like that, you can also see that based on search volume, these are the things that have been covered in your micro content or in the content you have submitted, as well as their relevance in terms of entrepreneurship experience that are uh, based on the search volume overall uh, in the past month. I believe this is probably pulled from, uh, you know, uh, Google SEO. And here are the trending topics. So uh, Seth Godin talks about things like sunk cost, pr uh, persuasion, email, quite a bit. And from here, you can say, instead of me picking up anything, maybe I want to start with sunk cost. So here it says, show 11 clips. Let's take a look. You see 11 clips, 11 clips, and let's see if there are any good. And from here, you can see, oh, these are high search. So contains highly searched content. And that's also trending. And a coherent score is indicating how well the clip's content can be comprehended without viewing the original video. Unfortunately, the score is pretty low right now. Uh, and um, so I don't really see anything that's high confidence. So let's see what it means by that. I'm going to click on this icon here. So something interesting happened there. At the beginning, I was like, well, why am I talking and why is it showing Seth? But as you can see here, the, the camera actually then moved over to me. What also kind of neat is that there's also subtitle already uh, where captions are already burned in. 
And within this window here, you can see there are different subtitle templates. So if I want to choose something different, you see the difference. First is pretty subtle. Uh, second, if I choose this now, so I'm going to pause here. You can see that this style is focused on uh, captions in the middle. So depending on how your video is arranged, like different things uh, could really look very differently. Yeah. So now you can see it's like the jump brown fox jump words or something a little more subtle or something with a light background. So there are definitely some options. There's also, as you can see here, uh, analytics. So nothing is really uh, there just yet. You can also apply the design across the entire project if you want. Now, one thing I would say that I would prefer since especially for podcasters, it's really helpful to know who's actually talking. So in this case, I would prefer to know whether it's me or Seth Godin, in this case, talking about a particular subject. So even though, yes, yeah, sunk cost is interesting, I'm actually going to just get rid of this filter and focus on the ones that Munch thinks it has high potential or it is actually high quality. So coherent score, uh, I want to see that being really high. So the question is, how do I reset this? I'm going to click on reset. Now it's giving me back let's base on munch score you see now these ones at the top are all high coherence so just the first one actually and the rest is somehow very low and to me okay this is interesting I really like when you click within this view I think it has a lot of potential but um, I would say just from the uh, onset it's it's a little harder to actually identify exactly um, what a clip is about and, and here's another thing like the I I know that this coherent score is kind of popular for a lot of these apps, but I also don't love the fact that it's taking away our, I don't know, human verification process, our human confidence for, uh, you know, what, what's important. So let's, how about this one? Make every moment count and the unspoken truth of social media assume. Let's take a look. So the endpoint is pretty good. It didn't really cut him off uh, at the very beginning. It is really short. So for some of you content creators out there, don't get too frustrated because when you do an interview, you will think everybody is just like Seth who's making a point within 15 to 20 seconds. It's actually really hard to do, especially the case that you think as an interviewer that your question needs to be included. Sometimes questions are long. Some questions are, you know, well longer than uh, go over 10, 15 seconds. Then the question itself becomes a clip. So in this case, you know, I think it's really about identifying maybe for this length, it's better for like um, one person speaking as opposed to multiple. So that's a pretty good clip. And I don't know why it says coherent score is low. I mean, frankly, how <laughs> incoherent can Seth Godin ever be? Let's take a look at the unspoken truth of social media. You're not the customer. You're the product and with the way it looked. And, and then no one's in the emails anymore or Twitter. You're not the customer. So you're the product. There's so he has a point. Unfortunately, he's cut off a little bit in the middle. What can you do that? You can actually hit the uh, edit button real quick. And then you see, you can actually change it. It giving you just enough. It knows that Munch may miss one or two things. And here it says preview resolution may be lower. So remember that your export is actually likely better. So you can move these bars, obviously. And here also, you can actually correct certain things if it's incorrectly um, written or transcribed just because, you know, this is all AI. And uh, also within this view, you can change the style if you want to, including font size and some of the templates we talked about. And here are the templates that you can apply directly and auto highlight. So here uh, it says text outline with and what's being highlighted, which means like the word if as part of the sentence. Uh, last but not least, um, first, if you like the clip, you can always put a star so you can find a little more easily later. And when you click on uh, export, if you're using the free version, you're going to have the watermark and otherwise you can just click download. It's a 20 second clip. It took about 15 seconds and here it is. You're not the customer. You're the product. And also, guys, especially this is something to note. If you're going to create micro content, you will want the original video, whether it's on YouTube or anywhere else, Google Drive on Dropbox to also have a high resolution video. You really don't want to start with a very low res, like a Zoom, poor Zoom recording, 360p, and then trying to create micro content will be going to, going to be a lot less engaging as a result. One thing I forgot to mention, it's actually the cropping. So you can auto crop or manually crop. Um, I do like auto sometimes, it just takes, saves time because Munch knows who to focus on. It knows who's talking, whose lips are moving. So let's go back to the projects. 
I'm going to discard all the changes here. And this brings you back one level, chronological, what's short is, what's most trending. That's interesting. I got to give this dropdown, um, you know, a vote of confidence here just because it's a really, you know, based on sorting, you know, what's searched. It just helps people to start thinking along that line and giving people different views and, and all that. It's, uh, yeah, it, there's definitely some empathy uh, built into the system, which I do like. Okay, next is integration. So right now I've only connected the YouTube, but it's worth noting that uh, Munch has, uh, will give you access to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and Facebook. Lastly is the plan. So you do save a bit uh, if you pay annually as opposed to monthly. And these are the features that it includes. One extra bonus if you don't just uh, you know purchase a basic plan is whenever they have a new feature being released, when you're on the elite plan or above, you'll be the first one to hear it. So, hey guys, I just want to give you a very transparent view of what I think of getmunch.com uh, or Munch AI. And I think it's really showing you and giving you some insights into what you can do to repurpose your content. And it really seems like a one-stop shop from importing content into, you know, uh, getting you the clips, even giving you the edit features and templates all built in. So the idea is that you don't have to bounce from this to, you know, Final Cut Pro or iMovie or then over to Canva. It's trying to give you everything you need so that you can publish directly. So let me know if you have any questions, thoughts in the comments below. Please be sure to also check out our review blog post. If you like this, I'm pretty sure YouTube is going to serve up a video that will also interest you. And I'm going to see you there. Take care until next time. Bye.